Also, family and friends, welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without faint. Where we encourage us to live our life and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth, because it is our life. And personally, I am encouraging you to enjoy your life. Why do I say this every time I'm doing a, a video? Uh, this uh, Facebook live broadcast. Because we easily forget ourselves. We easily forget what we're supposed to you know, be after because of the pressure or some call it temptation they are facing the circumstances surrounding us. But I need you to know that you are above that circumstance. That circumstance or circumstances surrounding us, you are above it. So don't let it swallow you up. Don't limit yourself because of it. Don't live a sad life like my last video, which I made, uh, I think it's supposed to be earlier today. It's, uh, I ask, how are you living? And in it, I show up that, you know, you're supposed to be living for yourself, you're supposed to be enjoying your life, that no matter what it is, everything about us is natural. There's no spiritual thing, there's no force that is working against you, that they, they want to destroy you, they want to kill you, they want to, you cannot be destroyed, you cannot be killed. And that's why religion is, bad to you because religion gives you fear, faith, and worries. And those things are the things that distract you from nature. But nothing can separate you from nature. You are a human being forever. You are living in the eternity. You are not living in time. Time is man-made. Time is made up. Just as Africans invented times, they are the ones that created calendars. Africans didn't have one calendar. They have calendars four market days, uh, this uh, seven days a week. And the many of them, but, you know, the, the invaders chose uh, these seven days uh, a week and force it on everybody today. That's what the whole world. So when you read their book, they, when they say the serpent deceived the whole world, the old serpent, talking about those who deceive us, who invaded and deceive us, destroy us. And till today we are suffering it and we are, uh, we are feeling the effects. But our slavery condition is not permanent. It will end when we all wake up. How about in the world? So I'm sharing with us what I titled God and the Gods. Gods uh, God and the Gods. This is very important. And as I go on, I will tell you why it's very important. So I, I consulted the uh, lexicon which is called dictionary, to know the definition or to see the definition of God. So I will start from it. But first, the foundation of what I'm showing you is God and gods. They are fairies. They are fairies. Man made them up and made them invisible because they don't exist. You cannot see any God. That's why God is unseen. The people managed to believe, made up a lot of things and said, this is how God is or this is how God operates. But there is no God that has shown up to claim or to support whatever claim people made with or for them, or about them. So God, the definition of God, remember God is not in African language. Excuse me, this thing, don't mess up my video, please. God is not in any African language because there is no God. So anyone that is uh, that invented God that, or wrote about God or says that God, there is God, that person we are operating in ignorance and fear because of the fear of the unknown and the ignorance of what is going on, what is happening. So they conclude God. 
If you don't understand it, God. If you don't know it, God. If you can't explain it, God. So they say God is a being conceived. <laughs> For those that say, my God is not created, not being created, you hear what he said. God is a being conceived as the perfect. He did not say God is a being that said he is perfect or she is perfect or it is perfect. No, he said God is a being conceived as the perfect, omnipotent, omniscient, originator and the ruler of the universe, which is a lie. The principal object of faith and the worship in monotheistic religions. So you know he's talking about the Europeans, you know, God. So they're talking about monotheistic religions because they're the one that forced that Abrahamic religion on us and other religions. Another we said a being of supernatural powers. You hear what he says. He said a being of supernatural power. He did not say a supernatural being. He said a being of supernatural. It's a being that have supernatural powers. You hear when people tell you they have supernatural powers and all that, or attributes. That's an anthropomorphism, right? Attributing human characteristics or human behaviors to imaginary being or to being your core God, believed in and worshipped by a people, especially a male deity, thought to control some part of nature or reality. You hear people telling you that the spiritual controls the natural. Why the spiritual cannot provide for them what they are using to worship that spiritual. Do you get what I just said? They said that the spiritual controls the natural or controls the physical, yet that spiritual cannot give them what they can use to worship that spiritual. They have to physically labor themselves. They have to physically organize themselves, those things for the being they conceive to be the originator and the ruler of the universe. Hmm. Third one. An image of a supernatural being, in other words, or also known as an idol. You hear Christians saying that they are not worshiping idols, but our African traditional uh, tradition traditionalists are worshiping idols. They don't know another word for God is idol. <laughs> An image they created. When you create that image of God, idol. God created me in his image, idol. An image of a supernatural being. My creator is, 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 the, is greatest. My creator is all powerful. You are talking about an idol. Okay? So you are worshipping idol. If you are a worshipper of God, you are a worshipping idol. You are idol worshipper. Any, whether your God is visible or invisible, whether you say the nature is your earth, is your, is your God, whether you say it's a force in you, whether you say it's whatever, anywhere, you say you worship God, you are an idol worshipper. That's your worshiping what men made of, what people conceived and brother. That's why I like the way the wife of a man said, he said that God is an abstract idea that need human to be real, need human to have power and life. Without their believing power, God is useless. God does not exist. Again, he said, one that is worshipped. I like the way this last one I want to read. God is one that is worshipped, hmm? not seen, idealized, not idolized, idealized, made up, people made it up, or followed. Now that's the worst part of it. People following what they have not seen, 
people following what they conceived, people following what they imagined to be real, this being have supernatural power, is the originator and the controller of the universe. I am following this being. Have you seen this being you are following? No. So how do you know what you are following? How do you know who you are following? You say you are following Yahweh. You are following Jehovah. You are following Allah. You are following Buddha. You are following Jesus. You are following Ogun. You are following Oledumare. You are following... You are following whatever name you call that God, yet you have not seen that God at any time. It's all a concept that people developed and make you to believe it is real when it is not real. It is called schizophrenia. You are schizophrenic believing in God. You are schizophrenic worshipping God. Thus you have mental problems. Then back to what I'm, I want to share with us. So you see this God and the gods. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to say in one of my videos. So I didn't say it as I, I, I planned. So let me say it now. Our people believe that uh, when we don't respect the gods of the land, when we don't honor the gods of the land, when we don't offer them some sacrifice or whatever, they begin to cause evil in our land. I said, come on, people think. This God cannot help us to solve our problems. Then when something we, don't, uh, we can't explain has begin to happen, we say we are going to somebody that is the mouthpiece of that God, or the mouthpiece of the gods of the land. Then they begin to tell us what we must do to cleanse the land, what we must do to appease those gods. And we begin to do them. Can't we pause? Say, wait a minute. If this God can do all these things, why can't this God solve our ordinary problems? No, we are the one that will solve our problems. Then they will get upset that we didn't give them anything. Then they begin to unleash horror of evil in our land. And we begin to believe it's not. Earthquake happened. He said, the gods are, are not happy. The strong wind blew and the uproot trees. He said, the gods are not happy. Somebody pours some color stuff in the water and they change color. He said, gods are not. You begin to say, oh, because that, 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 that river dry up because a woman in her period entered in there. You know, it's not, it's erosion that caused it. It's not any ghost of the land. Your belief is based on ignorance and fear, not on reality, not on fact. You have to wake up. So you see people now, when people that believe in one God, call monotheism or monotheistic religion, they believe that they are chosen by that God. They are representative of that God. They call themselves ministers of God. They call themselves prophets of God. So they are much peace of that God, speaking for that God. You want to know the will of that God or what that God wants you to do. You consult them. So this God created all of you, and all of you were born through human body. But now suddenly one of one person among you or few among us decided to, uh, to be above us because that God chose them. They become your, your spiritual father. They become your daddy in the Lord. They become your head now. They become your brain now. You're counting for yourself. In fact, before you marry, you have to consult them. They have to tell you the type of person you must marry. They have to approve your marriage. They have to approve your business transaction or whatever. Even your code of dressing. They have to tell you this is how you must dress. Mm. But you see those ministers, they are robbers. They are there 
robbing people. They are not representing any God. But the gullible who believe them will do what they say out of what fear and ignorance. For example, there's no prophet of God, a pastor that can stand before me. When I say stand before me, in other words, they have no ground. They cannot have time to speak or tell me God say anything. I will trust them and they will get upset and get away. That's where I cast them out. I cast them out with the factual truth and the trusting them with it. Then in the, when you go talk to people that believe in gods, the gods of the land, some added the goddesses also. Why Why Allah? Well, this one. Some even say they are children of water. They say they are children of the land. Some say they are children of the sun. Some say they are the children of the stone. Some say they are children of the tree. Confuse, confuse people. They are even on Facebook, on social media these days. As and why? One, one minute. We will make you rich. You will stop suffering. It's out of fear and ignorance. You are living in fear of death. That's why they are taking advantage of you. You are ignorant of who you are. That's why they are taking advantage of you. Oh, you are suffering because so, so, blah, blah. Remember what I did because I live by example. I didn't say I lead by, I say I live by example. One time I traveled to Nigeria. So to say, because when I preach about ordinary, so anything I'm saying about it, I'm not just saying it outside. No, I participated in it. So they say about Ebafa, for you to know who reincarnated you. In other words, for you to know who you were in the past life. Do some people have ability to know that? Yes, it's a natural power. It's not a spiritual power to know the past. It's not a spiritual power to know the future. And it's not spiritual power to know the present. It is all natural power. Okay, so I went. I went to two of them, although they said two different things. But I'm the one that made the final decision. So the main reason why I visited them, to do all those things, because our people believe that something is happening and must continue like that, it's not true. If our ancestors established something, we can develop it more. We can improve on them or we can trash them. It's not a must. If it's not working for us, we have stopped them. So what, all the things that the Dibia asked me to do, he tell me what I did in the past life and what I, what I should do to end it. But in me, I know or I have made up my mind. Now that thing he said, I, I, I believe him. Remember what I said? I said, I believe him. I didn't say I know what it was. But the fact is this. If you can go to that, if you ask him, most thing he was saying, I say, I knew them already. Because I, you are talking about me. I know me better than any other Dibia will know me. That's why you have dreams, you have visions, you have revelations. Those things are still you, telling you who you are. But because you have been misguided, you have been taught away from nature, from who you really are. You think it's some spiritual being coming to communicate with you. It's some ancestors coming to communicate with you. There's no God or ancestors anywhere communicating with us. We are those ancestors you're talking about, and there is no God. So I said, okay, I will do all things, but in this my life now, I will set tune how my life will be going forward. I will never worship any God again. I will never buy anything people just establish a buy. Understand this. When you are saying that your ancestors, you are worshiping some gods and that, it was not all your ancestors that were doing that. But we keep generalizing things, especially when it comes to things that we don't understand or we don't like. We begin to generalize it. All Africans, we aren't worshiping gods. No. All Africans, we aren't worshiping goddesses. No. Not all Africans. It's some people, they conceive that. And when you have problem, if you open your door to them, they will come in and they give you the same mentality. And you bite and you begin to follow them. They combat you. Whether it's ordinary, whether it's African spirituality or religion, they are doing the same thing, converting people. 
The only thing that makes spirituality better than religion is in spirituality, you don't force people. But they also have force there because they will force you. If you don't do it, the gods will do this. That's force. You force people with threats. You force people with fear. You force people with faith. If you don't believe this thing will about thing will happen to you, that's forcing that person to believe. You don't need to threaten anybody if that thing works. They will see it. Well, they will do they will do it. And it will work for them as it's working for you. Mm -hmm. So you see the the people that say they represent the gods of the land. We call them Dibia in my language. Uh I think Yoruba called them Babalawo or something like that. Or we in English we call all of them native doctors. Now the native doctors. What are the works of native doctors in our land? Some of them claim to have spiritual, supernatural powers. So if they have supernatural powers, hello, how is it going on in our land as we speak? Why are those with guns subduing us? Why are those with guns ruling over us? Why there are Dibias, why there are native doctors that have supernatural powers? I can make you a man pregnant. I can make you a woman, you will get pregnant, but you will never deliver it forever. I can make you go blind. I can make you have ele elephantizing. I can do this, I can do that. <laughs> think, think. The nature will show you that spirituality is bullshit. Nature will show you that religion is bullshit. Anything, anything that have to do with, uh, 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 with the faith and the fear, and the worries, those things are bullshit. You don't need it as human beings. Why are you worried when you can live naturally? It is what they used to make us living in worries. Now you're worried about who to marry. You're worried about how many children you will have. You're worried about tomorrow. You're worried about I may get sick and die. You're worried about this. You're worried about that. It was not so among us. So the, 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 the people that believe in one God have their ministers of God and the people that believe in multiple gods, uh, they call it a poly, polytheism, right? They have their ministers also, ministers of the gods. But the question I keep asking is this, and I will explain it to us why, is why are we Africans obsessed with God and the gods? You see some people that say they are no longer believers in one God. But then they turn to multiple gods. They call it African spirituality. They call it uh, ordinary in my language. Now you said, oh no, there's uh, our slave masters, our oppressors are the ones that gave us the Brahmic religions. But you turn to African tradition or tra African um, spirituality, where you also believe there is God. But this time now, he says it's not in the sky. He say nature is God. No, I am God. No, you're not. Nature is not. God is fairy. Gods are fairies. There are no gods of the land. And there are no goddesses of the land. We are the people living in the land. It is people. It is people, it is animals, it is plants. What you can see, that's what is in the land. There's no spiritual force that controls us. Why are we Africans obsessed with God and goddesses? The invaders is why. You say, no, before the invaders came, we were worshipping. You know? mm -hmm. That invading thought, they begin to, I, I don't understand it. The gods of the land are angry. The way, after the, when the rain came, that rain was so heavy, erosion wiped away our crop. The gods must be angry. They make it up. Some say it's their ancestors angry. Okay, your ancestors that die, you did not uh, bury them well. You did not kick out, you did not kick out when they die. Now you're going to kick out for them to appease them. And people are doing that. <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> I, keep, I, I cook nyo uh, nyowa, you know, as, as the DJ directed. I cook, I ate, I, I use fowl and the yam to do my own, okay? So, 
but it will never happen again in my generation, in my life going forward. It can never happen again. But that's what we are brought up to believe or to hold. For you to end what, uh, for you to end whatever your ancestors established that you don't like, you have to first fulfill it. That's what they still where they tell you that it was said. They use Jesus telling you that Jesus said in the old time they tell you this, but I have come to fulfill the law. Then I fulfill the law. Now I give you a new commandment. So before, don't just run away from what your ancestors established because they established it and it's working because they are the one that established it, not any spirit, not any God. No, fulfill it, then end it. You have that part. If you don't fulfill it, you cannot end it. Go on. You see many of you that went to church and they come and do deliverance in your family, worst thing continue happening. Because you did not listen. It's a normal, it's natural thing. It's not any evil. There's no demon behind it, no. It is what people made, and the people can end it or continue it. Just fulfill it. Go and find out what your ancestors did, or what your forefathers did, or what your own fathers did before they were converted to Christianity. Then do it. What they tell you to do, do it to, to fulfill all this. When you fulfill it, end it. You say, I don't want it anymore. You will never have any trouble in your life. You will never have any hardship in your life because now you're no longer operating in fear and ignorance. And anytime a knock on your door it, for you to entertain it, you say, forget about it. I don't entertain such anymore. I am living in reality now. We are not gods. Are we gods? No. You even see people that say they, they don't believe in the Bible. Quoting Bible that say, they say we, I say ye are gods. For the first is reading the Bible should tell you you are not that. Anything the Bible say you are, you are not. Anything the Bible say you are not, you are. The Bible say you are not God. No, I mean you are gods. It's a lie. You are not gods. Gods are gays. Gay people. Because gods don't have goddesses. But in the idea of gods and goddesses is also fair. We are not gods. We are human beings. We are above gods and goddesses. We are not kings and queens. We are both kings and queens. We are human beings. And there is no force greater than human force. That's why you control animals. You control the trees. You, your force is strong enough. You don't need any god to assist you in doing anything. And when we join hands together, we can do the impossible. That thing you say, oh, it's only God can do in a lie. God cannot do it. We are the one that can do it. We are not gods. We are not fairies. Gods of the land are imaginary beings that some people believe control um, uh, that, that controls their, 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 their physical life or their natural life or the events of life. Oh, God is responsible for that. It's God that are doing that. Oh, you are work today is the gods. You are Britain, who give you life? Come on, turn that God. bullshit. It's not a gift. The air, the air is in and outside you. You cannot escape the air, whether you are buried or not. The air is everywhere. It's natural. <laughs> Check my last video. I say something about that the air, the blood, and the body. Understand? So you stop believing all that nonsense about there's soul in you, there is spirit in you. No, it's not. If you're talking about soul, is this body? You're talking about spirit, is this body? And they can never die. It transforms. It goes back, comes back, it goes back, comes back. Comes back. That's how it goes. It's natural thing you can. You have proved it already in your family. When people die in your family, what do you do? Do you send them up? Even if you burn them, even if you crush them, they are still going back to you. You go and throw the ashes in the river. Where is the river? In the earth. <laughs> now, you don't know where, when it rains. Whatever you bury in the land, some of them, it will flush them to go to another place. Yeah, that's why you can incarnate in another place. You get that now. 
somebody eat you there where the water flow to yeah, they burn you again you must be born again so understand that there is no god doing all those things and the people that believe this nonsense force it on the rest of others because they took authority they begin to make laws and commandments even festivals they begin to establish them to or to honor those gods they believe in the birthday of that god the day that god did this the day that god did that and you see many people believing that lies and living so we are not gods and we don't have a god we don't have a creator a creator is a fairy and that's why it is only in fairy tales the creator exists there's no god that created this world there's no god that created us and no god has shown up to claim it and no god can show up and say that i am wrong he cannot we are not creatures of any god we are not creatures human beings cannot create human beings god cannot create human beings human beings cannot be created human beings are born we don't need shell god is like shell you are in that shell gods are like shells you are in it we don't need it human beings don't need shell like animals do like tortoise having shells on this having shell. no we are not we are not animals we don't need shell we don't need god humans don't live in shell no we don't spirituality is shell religion is shell when you are in them you limit yourself you don't know yourself you begin to ascribe your effort to some imaginary beings that cannot help you in reality what we call spirituality or what we call supernatural is our natural powers and emotions we live in reality which is our human nature it is reality it is real it is above god is above god so we what we call spirituality or supernatural it is actually our natural power that we don't know how we operate them or how they they, they manifest and our emotions Ooh, mm, i feel it i feel it it's all your emotion. It doesn't make you higher than anyone else. You have the ability to know what herb to use to kill or to do something to perform certain certain acts or, or, or to do certain to manifest certain things. It has nothing to do with any spirituality or any spiritual being. It's all natural power. It's when you don't know it, you sound like Igbo people. Our people say that Chuku Kadibi Agwondoya is a lie. God is is God heals uh, than the than the native doctors. No, God don't heal than the doctors. God cannot heal anyone. Doctors will treat you. God cannot treat you. The native doctors are better than God. You need them than God. You need the Dibias than God native doctors you see native doctors not native demons no not native spirituals native doctors they are doctors they know how to use herbs and roots to do something they know how to, what, what they're supposed to do and something will happen it's natural they are the one doing it it's not any spiritual being doing it if there is any spiritual in existence all of us are supposed to be seeing them or going to them not you going to them through somebody no we imagine what we can explain to be spiritual we conclude it's a spiritual thing we imagine what we cannot explain to be from the unseen world there's no unseen world anywhere any world that exists is seeable you can see it. if you cannot see it it does not exist there is no spiritual eyes oh you need spiritual no what they call your third eye is your brain. And your brain can see past, present, and the future. But they have limited you. You are not believing in a book or believing in a people. 
Instead of you using your brain, everybody carry this brain. You were born with it. It's not a gift. It cannot be taken away from you. That's what ensures that you are eternal being. Is there the ministers of God are liars? They don't know what they're saying, and our deviance is, is so unfortunate today. They are ignorant of who we are, they don't know what they're saying. We are above gods and goddesses. There is no God above us. Gods cannot do anything for us. We must wake up and thrash all of them. Both the God in heaven and the gods of the land, we must trash all of them and live humanly. God in heaven.